they call it the land of festivities, fun and frolic which goes on throughout the year. Manipur is always bustling with the cycle of numerous festivals which project the cultural, social and religious aspirations of the state and are perfect for removing the monotony of life and help people live a fuller and better life. Koot festival is an autumn festival and marks the ending of the harvest season. It is also a thanksgiving festival where prayers are offered for a bountiful harvest and for the prosperity of the people. A display and performance of rich cultural traditions and merry making form a vital part of the Koot celebrations. One of the main highlights of the Koot festival is the Miss Koot, a beauty pageant organized every year during this festival at the 1st Battalion Manipur Rifles Parade Ground. Koot is a festival of merry making and people come together to feast, drink, sing and dance. It is also of great significance as the festival highlights the cultural heritage of the Kuki Chin Mizo groups and is also a platform to harness peace and harmony among the diverse ethnic communities of the state. The Koot festival has slowly evolved as a way of garnering peace, communal harmony, friendship and forging new ties. Koot is a traditional post-harvest festival for the Kuki people and this used to be celebrated from began to settle down agrarian society and they harvested and essentially is giving thanks to God for the blessings that they have received. In the past each village would celebrate their own Koot but today in the contemporary situation people have gathered together as here and you have a collective uh, communal a uh, good celebration. The younger generation are completely disconnected from their roots and this is not only our people. It's a global phenomenon if you like. Um, so it's good to have good and the souvenirs um, and hopefully with these uh, younger generation will become more you know, familiar with uh, their roots, their culture, their history, their traditions. Apart from the actual cultural festivals where you have uh, cultural groups performing and so on, which they're not always interested in, uh, but the fashion show and all is one way of attracting them to Kood, you know, year by year. It is a very joyous event. We also want to acknowledge the contribution of our ladies. And besides that, when in the you, you would have noticed that all the ladies wear different costumes of each tribe. So that also brings about unity and it brings about the sort of brotherhood that we have. So in that way, it is not against a cultural uh, festival as such, but it contributes and complements. That is how I feel it. Today, uh, the question that I made is called Mayum Tribe Wrap Around. Good festival help us motivate ourselves and give us inspiration to create more new designs and then create uh, lots of uh, uh, designs that people never have seen on TV or uh, in real life. The fashion show has been going on for, as I know, like 1994 and before that they used to celebrate it. Uh, in the hills and villages and thanksgiving to God. This could intends to uh, like bring together the past and the present. Actually, 
Sacred Festival is uh, celebrated by the Kuki Chin Mizo tribes. And moreover, in this festival, we get to express our uh, you know traditional dresses. The origin of this is like um, it's a gra it's a festival that's celebrated to show our gratitude to the gods for a good harvest. It brings unity among the people of Manipur by a true culture. Unexpected that I would win this. And I'm really grateful that I could be a part of this contest. Really grateful. I want to influence and inspire the all the women of Manipur. It helps to showcase their personalities and potentialities and helps them to voice their opinions. just help the girls to uplift the nation and it also gives us a platform to show our beauty and talents among the people. Higher the level of women and makes a, a platform for a better career in the future. Manipur it's not so developed society but this kind of festival this gives us the opportunity to show ourselves that we can do anything like anybody else. My passion is to sing but now as a modern world we begin to change like bringing new moderns uh, songs and I wanted to thank the good community for giving us this platform too. In this good uh, time 16 I'm really happy to join and participate. This motivate me very much. Uh, it encourages me to learn more about my singing, the stage performance, everything uh, which include singing. Chewangkut is the biggest post-harvest festival of the Chinkuki Mizo ethnic group of people and will be celebrated on October 30 and November 1st at Peace Ground, Tibong, Chura Chandpur, Manipur. The event has been scheduled for three consecutive days to ensure that each and every Kuki Manase tribe have fair and equal chance to showcase their respective cultural heritage. collective celebration of Kut at the state level began, I think, in the 80s. And to deal with the particular issue that you mentioned, let the young people become aware of their roots and culture and so on. Apart from the actual cultural festivals where you have cultural groups performing and so on, which they're not always interested in, but the fashion show and all is one way of attracting them to Kut, you know, year by year. One um, manner that has been adopted specifically is the souvenirs that they produce. The committee puts together a souvenir where people write about, you know, court and other related issues. And this is one way of disseminating that uh, fact. So imagine a situation where you don't have court at all. There'll be a complete disconnect. So it's good to have court.